once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. Merciful God, through the death of your beloved Son, you transformed an instrument of shame into a sign of hope and glory. Receive all we bring before you this day and renew us in the mystery of his love through the same Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. The Lord receive this sacrifice at thy hands to the praise and glory of his name, to our benefit and that of all his holy church. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Today we celebrate with songs of praise the cross, the victory sign of Christ. Once through the fruit of the forbidden tree, we fell. Now through this tree, our Savior cancels all our sin. An instrument of shameful death has become for Christ the throne of glory. The power of the life-giving cross reveals a judgment that has come upon the world and the triumph of Christ crucified. And so with choirs of angels and with all the heavenly host, we proclaim your glory and join their unending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, come to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the mother of Jesus, St. Luke, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. By whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs>